Hi everybody, it's Abigail Oakwell here and welcome back to another Western chat. Now if you're new here, WIP stands for Work in Progress. Now as you could probably tell, I am working on a new project. This is Sneaky Cat by Diamond Art Club. The dimensions are uh, 107 by 52. So this, this is a pretty long kit. I seem to be having some sort of like fascination with cats at the moment because my last cat, my last work canvas that I worked on was a tiger. Sort of a little bit before that I worked on The Cat by Tum Meow. Um, I've forgotten the artist of this. Completely forgotten, sorry. Um, I still have a really bad COVID brain. So uh, if you didn't know, uh, I popped out a video that I had filmed ages ago because I had COVID and I had it really bad. So I didn't have it to the point that I had to be on a ventilator or anything, but um, yeah, I, I, I just felt absolutely awful. It was probably one of the worst sort of illnesses I've ever had to face. So anyway, uh, how are you all doing? I hope you're all doing well. So I guess I should get to st some stories. Seeing as I've touched on, co on uh, COVID, having COVID, I guess uh, I should probably start there. I, I, I really don't have like that many stories to be honest. I have some fun stories, but not like really excited. Well, yeah, yeah, no, we will start with COVID. So, so, um, so since I came back from Queen, I had been having a sore throat and a really bad cough, and I had been testing, and nothing had come up. Um, I tested on the Sunday evening, sorry, I'm just going to zoom you in a bit more, let's zoom out, there we are, that okay, yeah, you can see what I'm doing, so, um, yeah, I, I, um, I've been testing, uh, I even tested on the Sunday night, um, and that one came up negative, then, on the Monday, last Monday, um, I woke up and I thought, and I was just like, oh, I feel really quite bad. I was coughing, I was sneezing. It was just really not a nice thing at all. And, you know, I'd just come back off annual leave. I was due to go into work that day and do what I normally do. But I was just like, oh, I feel, I feel pretty bad. But, you know, we'll, we'll just, we'll just see, you know, what the test says. I highly doubt it's COVID, but, you know, when you have that, that um, sort of doubt in the back of your mind of, oh, but what if it is? What on this occasion, what if it is COVID? It's so... I was like, yeah, no, this is just for peace of mind. Within, I think, a couple of minutes, I started to get a, uh, I started to get two little red lines. And I was like, oh, great, here we go. Here we go. So, I then go in to Josh's man cave and I look at him and I say, babe, I'm not going anywhere today. Guess he's got COVID. And he was like, oh God, no. And I was like, yeah, I know. So yeah, I called up my riding, you know, the riding place that I, I ride at. And I was like, hey, look, I'm not coming in. I have, I have COVID. And yeah, I, I don't think it's a good idea. I come in and they were like, oh my gosh, you poor thing. And they were like saying, I hope you get better soon and everything. Because, yeah, uh, 
the the place I work at are really really nice. Oh, I work at is really nice. The place I ride at even is really nice. Sorry, English today, people. English. Hey. And sorry, I called them up. Then soon after, I called up work. And I spoke. I spoke to Ben. And he was like, oh, I, I, and I went, um, I'm not coming in. I've got COVID. And he jokingly said, oh, for God's sake, Abigail, you're meant to be coming back to work today. And I was like, oh, no, I'm sorry. But, um, yeah, there had been two other people that had tested positive for COVID. Um, we think uh, it came from uh, a leave, the Leaving Do Drinks that uh, I mentioned last week which I will go into um so yeah two two girls that had gone gone that had uh, gone with us um they they tested positive for COVID and then like I I I informed Kieran that we that uh we tested positive and uh him and his Lady Savannah had, uh, you know, been all, you know, they they had uh, COVID as well, or rather Savannah did. I don't think Kieran did, but I'm not sure. So, yeah, it was like, okay, well, get better soon, and, you know, if you're still feeling rubbish tomorrow, you know, you know what to do. Um, so, yeah, uh, I called in the next day, um, Monday and Tuesday, I did not really move. I was just like, Ugh. someone's trying to kill me. Like, I was honestly just like, I felt like I was dying. As well as, every time I, I inhaled a breath, I felt like, I I felt like I was having someone squeezing my lungs as well as sort of having shards of glass, you know, ripping through my my resp my respiratory system as well as feeling like uh, I had had all three of my COVID vaccines at once. Yeah, it it was it was not very fun. It was it was really not very fun. So Wednesday, um, I actually felt a bit better, but um, yeah, I I because uh, on Wednesday I actually managed to get dressed, but I was still like, oh. So um, I wasn't actually working on. Wednesday but um, I was working the next day so like at five o'clock in the evening I called in and I was like and I was like yeah okay uh, we are going we um, you know we're calling in I was, my manager was like good, good evening uh, James so James was saying good evening and I, I said good morning just like honestly it is I was like hold on what that's not right and he was just chuckling getting his 50 chuckles and down the phone and I was just like yeah I know okay James but I I was kind of really embarrassed and I just like called in to say I'm not coming in you know tomorrow because you know, I'm still really bad. And I didn't go in for, like, that whole weekend. So, yeah. Um, certainly, Saturday I probably could have gone in. But, uh, yeah, I didn't. Because, you know, I was just still not feeling 100% on... on um 
on the Friday, so I thought it's probably best not to chance it. And also, I was still testing positive on the Friday, so I was like, yeah, no, we're not doing that. Uh, I apologise if you uh, hear, like, metal work and stuff. Um, the builders are working on the plot behind us. And, yeah, are being... And, obviously, they're being quite loud. So, yeah, I can't exactly yell out the window. Always stop, stop, um, stop your work. I'm trying to record a video here because, yeah, that's not working. That's not happening. I'm, I'm not going to... I'm not going to be caring about that. So, yeah. Um, right, I will, I will go on to the uh, leaving drinks. So, uh, obviously, like I say, Frank Kieran was leaving. And, you know, it was like, I was, I was um, on annual leave, so, and he was like, you know, I'll, you know, you should come out with us to, um, I don't know what to call it. It's not really a nightclub because Chichester is coming. Sorry, I've got to go for lunch in a minute because uh, Chichester is a cathedral town, city even. So, yeah, I can't really... So they can't um, have a nightclub. Because, um, yeah. There's some sort of rule that there can't be a, a nightclub. Um, and, yeah, we went there. Uh, so, yeah, we went to um, the local Weatherspoons. And we, you know, we had... I only had one drink at that time. Um, I drove Josh back because he had work the next day. And then I got a taxi back up to Chichester. And we all went to that street. And this is where we think we got COVID. Or where we think COVID was passed on from. Because the next day after the party, um, I think it was the next day after the party, we got a phone call saying, no, well, no, we didn't get a phone call saying we got, we, um, Josh got a message saying that two of our co-workers that were there had tested positive for COVID. So yeah, we're pretty sure that that was where we all picked it up from. But anyway, um, I'm going to go for my lunch quickly, uh. I will be back in a couple, well, probably in about half an hour, I hope. Uh, so, yeah, I will see you guys all in a bit. Right, so back from lunch. Sorry about that. I was <laughs> just, yeah, you know, the the joys of living at home still. Um, can we see that? Is that okay? Am I going to have to hold on a bit? Just there we go. There we go. So, um, what was I saying? Oh, I was talking about our um, the leaving drinks and where most likely we all got infected. But no, apart from that, it was a really good night. <laughs> Me and Kieran were like playing off each other all, all night. Kieran got quite drunk that um, I told him that, you know, because I, I thought I was going to be sick. I was actually sick when I got home. Um, about, you know, he, had, he was looking at me because he had forgot that I'd said I was going home. So, but no, he was, he was happy that I'd made it and that I'd stayed longer and yeah. I was happy that I'd made it. Because, I mean, this thing, Kieran was, well, he is one of my best friends, but he was one of my best friends at school. Oh. 
I said where I work, got COVID braid, seriously, it's like, you're, you don't think, I'll have to bleep that name out later. Um, so, yeah, like I say, I do apologise, there is, for the noise, like I say, builders. Um, but no, he was one of my best friends, so I was not going to miss that for the world. There was no way in my mind I was missing that for the world. I was like, yeah, no, not happening. I was like, yep, not happening, nope. So, yeah, you know, I'm really glad, it went, you know, I rarely go out anyway. But, I mean, I woke up the next day and I was like, oh. Now I, now I remember why I rarely go out, you know. It is very rare that I will go out and drink, you know. It, it's just one of those things. I just won't. Because, you know, I, I, uh, I... You know, I'm not I'm not that young twenty year old anymore that can just go out and drink. Apologies, I brought my tea up. Um so yeah, therefore I am a lot, you know, a lot careful. Um also, funny story while we were out at the um the nightclub, um I had a while we were dancing on the floor, um there was a few guys that I had seen eyeing me up at the bar. And I was just like, uh-oh, here we go. And this is the thing. It's like, your eyes are more open. And, you know, I always make sure if I'm, if I'm going clubbing or anything, I'll always make sure I am aware of my surroundings and what's going on. And, you know, this guy comes up and go, like, you know, touches, like, my back and is like, hey, how are you? You know, what's your name? And I just turned around and I went, and I kind of flashed my, my hand. I was like, sorry, engaged. And he was like, oh, really sorry. And kind of left with his tail between his legs. It was like, yes. <laughs> but it's like the girls that I was with. Oh, well, the girls and. Yeah, no, there were a few guys with us, but they were kind of like suppressing laughter because obviously they know me, they know I'm engaged. But they just found it so funny that the guy tried to hit on not one of the girls that obviously hasn't got a boyfriend, but someone that's like that. And I think it's also because I look quite young, I kind of don't look like I should be old enough to be engaged either. It's like, you know, so he went back to his friends with his tail between his legs, which was probably one of the most interesting things that happened all night. Apart from getting COVID, but, you know, we didn't know we had COVID until, like, a few weeks later. But, no, I basically kind of told him to leave and, yeah... Yeah, no, I, I like, so yeah, I, I got home, fell asleep, and then the next day I was just like, oh god, and I made sure I, I thanked her for a great evening, um, he'd asked me to look after his leaving cards, so what I'd done is, uh, before I went out for the second time, I kept, uh, my, I've kept Kieran's cards, um, in the, in the, um, oh, what is it, in my shoulder bag, there we go, I told you I have COVID brain, I'm, I'm, like, not thinking about anything right now, so I apologise if this is very, uh, stops up, um, so I kept those at home, and, you know, I came back, and I said to him, 
you know, I'll, uh, the cards are back at my place. So, yeah, we can, um, so yeah, I will give them to you, you know, after this when, you know, we're both, you know, available. And he was like, oh, that's great, yeah. So, yeah, I, I, I reassured him the next day that I still had his cards, that they were in the bag, that I hadn't, like, taken them out or anything, so... Yeah, he came and collected them on Monday, the first day that I was due back. Yeah. So, yeah, that was Thursday, uh, Friday, no. So that was, um, yeah, so that was like the story of how I caught COVID, basically. Part of my cover mind, I've got part of a cover minder coming out. No, oh, this is so sad. No, stop playing with it, otherwise, it's gonna like snap off and you're gonna be really sad then. Um, so, what are you doing? So, I've done that. Um, so, the rest of my annual leave was like fairly boring but yeah it was it was fun it was fun the rest of my annual leave um then as I say on the second week I went and saw Queen so we know about that so I don't need to go into that because I've already gone into that Yeah, well, seeing Queen was like the day, well, I came back from Queen the day before leaving drinks. And then I recorded it on the day of leaving drinks, so yeah. Um, yeah, weekend rolls around, um, like I say, off on Saturday. And then Sunday, um, it was my uncle's memorial barbecue, so... Uh, we had to drive up to London and honestly like it felt like everything was against us so something so I think the trip that should have been like an hour and a half turned into like I want to say it turned into like a four hour trip because the traffic going up to London was like really bad I originally was not meant to drive up to London it was meant to be my aunt however her car broke down and so it was like well what do we do we can either go by the train or you know if Abby feels comfortable driving she could drive us up and I was like you know what yeah I have to do it. I might have to do it at some point so I was like yeah I will drive my happy little tail up to London Which was, so yeah, we went, and we went and picked up my aunt, who uh, I also gave COVID to. <clears throat> Josh and PJ found it rather uh, hilarious, let's just say. Um, my, how do I describe my aunt Diana? So Diana is like the old, is the old maid. So she was never married, just never had children. And she was of that generation, really, that you don't, that, you know, the, you didn't really, you know, do anything out of wedlock, really. Um, so, yeah, old maid, never had children, la 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 la. <coughs> and when, like, you know, the news came out that I, that she had COVID and I'd given her COVID... PJ and Josh were like laughing. Oh, well, admit it wasn't the nicest thing in the world, but I was a bit like, okay, yeah. I can see the funny side. Mm. There we go. All right, that's my tea done, so hopefully I won't be slurping anymore. So, so yeah, we went 
night. So we drove up to London. Um, like I say, everything was going fine. You know, traffic was a pain in the bum. It took us a really long time to get up there. Um, we got into London and I missed the turning. So I went to a place to turn around. And th this this place that I went to turn around was quite sharp. Well, it wasn't sharp, but it was quite tight. And I'm reversing. Um, I make sure I look. That was my laptop. I do apologize. So I went to look. You know, everything's fine. And then all of a sudden, bang. I... I look around and I've reversed into a guy's BMW and I'm I break down in tears at this point however thankfully I didn't damage the guy's BMW so what we think I hit is the guy the the person's car tire was like sticking out at an angle and we think that that is what I hit so my car got very dented, but the guy's car was fine. So yeah. So yeah, the car's uh, the car was fine and everything. So uh, well, the guy's car was fine. Mine wasn't. So thankfully, my aunt is a named driver on my insurance, so she was able to drive my car the rest of the way to uh, my uncle's. Uh, well. Now X Sophie. Um, because I was just in no state to continue driving up the rest of the way up. I mean it wasn't that far away. We really weren't that far away. We we're probably about 10-15 minutes away. And yeah. It really wasn't that. that far away so my aunt you know she gets in the car or she gets in the driving driver's side of the car um, I go in the back with my mum because I was like I just don't want to I, it's like first thing she she like she doesn't adjust my mirrors or anything and she like complains about, you know, how far in I have the seat. It's like, oh my gosh. So this is kind of partly why people don't like my, like Diana. She complains a lot and stuff. So she's complaining about how far in I have my seat because I'm so tiny. And I mean, I'm just in like so much of the state. I mean, I was crying. I was in a, I was a real mess. And, yeah, I was just like, I was just like, you know what, um, I just, I can't drive the rest of the way. So, yeah, she, she took control of my car, she complains about how, how much in I've got my my um seat she doesn't adjust my mirrors and then she complains about my mirrors and it's like not my fault and it's like sorry but that's what you get when you have a tiny when you get a tall person driving a tiny person's car and it was like oh my gosh so yeah on the way back I had to like 
adjust my seat. Again, she hadn't adjusted the mirrors, so that was a good thing. But, um, yeah, so we got to the barbecue. Everything was fine. Um, oh, and then Sophie uh, gave me, um, you know, this really nice sweet wine um, called Talk. Talky? Okay, Toke, okay. And when I say Toke, okay, no, I do not mean the gecko. I do not mean a Toke, a Tokai gecko. Um, and yeah, it, it was really nice. And she was like saying, oh, this is in these stores at like Christmas and New Year. So I was like, mum, this year for Christmas, we have to get some of this wine. Because it was, it was just really great. And yeah, I just, I enjoyed myself. Um, I did have a massive headache for a while though. And I think that was kind of like the stress. And she also had like a quiet room and a nap room. Because she was like, you know, I know people, you know, don't, you know, sometimes just get ill and I just want to make sure they've got a, like a nice space to just chill out in which was really great and really thoughtful of her and you know uh, I, I also before we drove home I had some paracetamol we stayed I think until about like four o'clock I didn't really eat that much unfortunately I just really wasn't hungry but um yeah it was it was really nice it was like there was it was it's just really nice being in Sof in uh, Sophie's garden because there were trees that my uncle had planted and it was I actually sat at the back of the garden near where my uncle's trees my uncle had planted the trees and I was just like I just felt so connected and it was just like my uncle would have loved it if we had come here when he'd been alive. And we also learned that he he his place was like near the barbecue. Like he loved like barbecuing stuff. And um and uh my family kind of congregated near the barbecue and we're like doing the cooking which is what he would have done and it's like it was like it was it got quite emotional you know there were there was two two kids were there, were there two kids yes there were well there was a toddler and then there were to like kids like eight and nine I want to say I think that was their ages but I can't remember I honestly can't and they were like playing Pokemon Go so I joined in and played Pokemon Go for a while as the massive Pokemon nerd does uh, and someone that we well that I didn't know someone one of the people had a shiny Squirtle I was going to trade something for said Chinese work tool, but uh, no. Life, life decided to punch me in the face. It literally decided it wanted to go, ha ha, there's a shiny squirrel, you can't have it because your friendship's not high enough, na 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 It was like, life, really, why? Why do you do this to me? So, yeah. I was like, I would cry. I was like internally crying. It's like, I'll be fine. <laughs> no, I won't be. And then the next day, I obviously tested positive for COVID. However, that whole weekend was a, a kick in the teeth, to be honest. So, um, my dad had a stroke 
on the Saturday. And, you know, it wasn't like any of his normal stuff, so he got dizzy. Um, he actually lost, like, mo like, he was unable at one point to move his legs. Um, and he's still going through a bit of the dizziness now, as far as I'm aware. But, yeah. So, yeah, um, for the... So, um, yeah, that weekend, me and my mum didn't really sleep. And then, of course, like I say, on the Monday, COVID hit the house. So, that made, for me, that made sleeping even worse. Because I, I think I fell asleep, like, soon after I'd called places to say, look, I'm not coming anywhere. I was, I like went back to sleep. Because, I mean, I had been awake, I think, since half five I want to say and I've been con I've been consistently waking up at like half five over the weekend or I'd wake up at like half five roll over and finally go back to sleep but but um yeah it wasn't like I really didn't get rested sleep that weekend. I kind of really rested, to be honest, when I got home. And I, I mean, I was just like honked out. It was... It was not fun. Like I said, it really took a hit on me. I was off for a week. I only went back to work on Monday. I didn't go horse riding either because I was like I just want to make sure that I'm well enough for everything so yeah I went and I did my shift at work and then I just went nah <clears throat> trying to think if there's anything else I know this one is going to be slightly shorter and that's just because I physically cannot like think and my mind is just going bananas um also I did actually cross stitch a lot and you know, being off and feeling more human. It wasn't until, I think it was like last Saturday, I actually started diamond painting again because I was just like, nope. My mind was physically like, yeah, how about no? How about you don't do anything? But, um, yeah, Wednesday, I was like, it was really the first thing I kind of did something and I was stitching so yeah I did get some stuff done um I'm currently as of today I'm working more on my um my stitching for my future goddaughter puppy so if you hadn't heard uh my best friend Robin is pregnant again and this time they're having a girl so, so yeah, we it's very exciting. So I'm doing this thing for them, like I did Dexter. Um, so Dexter is my godson. Um, Um, Robin and Will are actually getting married on, when is it? When is it they're getting married? Saturday, that's it. So, yeah, next week I'll be talking about a wedding probably. I'll be getting exhausted, probably chasing after a poddler. Because, yes, Dexter is starting to bloom and walk. He is starting to walk. He has a little walker, and yeah. 
the little monkey so yeah when he's when he's like up and walking it's gonna be it's gonna be uh, a whole new ball game and yeah it's just gonna be like chaos fun chaos but chaos um i'm trying to think if there's anything else i can actually think of that i can talk Um, apart from like my admin on Monday where I was effectively doing like all the compliance stuff I still haven't finished it so I'll be doing more of that tomorrow doing more of that tomorrow and I'll be doing more and I'll be doing more of that on Friday basically this week um because we have like a table that we have to fill in it's like spreadsheet so we can see where where we're doing better on and where we're not doing uh so well on and we can see where we've improved and you know what we haven't improved and normally I'll do that like every Friday along with scanning things on. There are things that have been scanned in the wrong places, things that haven't needed to be scanned. So basically I effectively scanned everything in one place. It's like, yes. So yeah, I'll probably have to like go through what has been scanned on... Uh, tomorrow when I'm doing compliance stuff and then I have an 8 hour shift on Friday oh, that's going to be fun my mind's just going to go ping but that's just because we're so little stuff that basically um, they are having to do 8 hour shifts because we do not have the staff to be doing like the stuff so of course guess who has to be doing the 8 hour shift and also because we've got Minions Rise of Group coming out. I think that's probably partly why it's like, you know, everyone has got at least one eight hour shift. So, yeah, I will definitely on Friday be taking my hour break. So, yeah. But anyway, um, I think that's enough. I really can't think of anything else. I'm really sorry if I was very like stop start and just sounding very monotone. It's just I'm still, still recovering the remainder of COVID. It's not fun. Uh, but anyway, uh, thank you all so much for watching. If you did like this video, please uh, hit that like button. Consider subscribing. And if you would like to, please leave a comment. And I will see you guys all next week. Thanks, everybody. Take care.